Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. My name is Shannon and today we have something a little bit different for my students who take casting lessons. This is going to be a public video. I have a bunch of private videos for those of you that take my paid lessons. This is going to be made public because it's such a popular topic, the double haul. Now it's going to be a little bit of reading here because there's a lot to say about the double haul so you just got to let me put my thinking cap on and bear with me here as we get through this double haul information. The following are all my opinions based on learning directly from Lefty Cray and later with the definitive video by Lefty Cray and Ed Javarsky, Javorsky, um, the complete cast. That video is better than anything I could ever do and yes I did a tiny little bit for that video in a Las Colinas sound studio years ago as it was being made. The complete cast is available to purchase in its entirety by chapters or on Vimeo, either in its entirety or in chapters on Vimeo. So go to Vimeo, the link is down below, and I strongly suggest it for you if you're just starting out in fly fishing and learning how to cast, go get that. It's all a great gift for a fly fisher as well. Four hours, almost four hours long, and that, that will probably never be outdone. That video is like the, the, the swan song, the, the definitive gift that Lefty gave us in that video. And Ed is a very scientific in his approach, and he's a good guy. He's just real, real cut and dry guy. I like him a lot too. Met both those guys on set and all that, and, and hung out a little bit. So why make another video on the double haul then? Well. I'm doing this to show different angles than were thought of or were even possible at that time. They might have been possible, but maybe they didn't think of it or maybe, you know, I just didn't get around to it. Th that existed, you know, during the making of the complete cast. I also want to personalize this for my casting students who want to be able to relate to me and how I do it uh, when they show up for lessons. So, you know, doing a, a double haul is a lot like uh, if you've never casted before. It's like handing the keys to Ferrari over to a five-year-old and saying, hey, take it for a spin. Not, not Ferrari, this is a Formula One car, <laughs> even more so. Take it for a spin. Those videos are private and only available to students taking lessons from me personally. Just letting you know that. This is the only one that's being made public. This particular video will be saved as public so that I can get some feedback from you guys and maybe make some improvements and do it again. So now we move on. What is a double haul? The double haul is no magical mystery. You know, some people act like it's some, some kind of magic thing, magic trick. It is a technique, not a cast. Really, it's not a cast, it's a technique that's added to an angler's cast to enable a fly fisher to cast with less energy expended from the angler. The double haul more quickly bends the rod by adding the torque of line speed to the cast. So we're adding some line speed, the weight of the line bends the rod, we go, we go quicker. Who needs a double haul? Uh, you might be asking, why would I want to learn this? Well, if you're in one spot and you don't need it, and you go there all the time like your backyard swimming pool, okay, you don't need it. But let's just say that you have that in your arsenal. Just about any fly fisher can find a time and a place to use a double haul to their benefit. The double haul is what I call fish assault with a deadly weapon. It allows you to cover more water in a couple of ways. To me, the most important reason, number two, it allows you to make more casts while expending less energy during the outing. Or, of course, there's the added reason, number three, it can add distance to your cast when properly executed. Both of these reasons add up to reason number one. You can cover more water during an outing. The double haul has many smaller reasons for being so deadly. Pick up more line, break the wind, fewer false casts are, are the ones at the top of my mind. So for me, we're gonna, we're gonna show some video. And you know, when I say the technology that we have now is different than what Lefty and Ed had then, here's one of the pieces we're gonna use right here, drone to show some footage from drone of the double haul. Should be interesting. And another little asset we have now that gets really high quality video, the GoPros with a super wide. So we can go super wide with GoPro. Those are two of the pieces of technology I'm gonna apply to this. It's not gonna be anything standardized like you see in the Lefty Craig video. It's been done. It's been done perfectly. So this is nothing like that. It's just something to layer on top. It's the icing on his cake, so to speak. 
when it comes to the, the, the methodology of, of executing a uh, double haul, I, I have a Zen kind of thing I do, and it's, it, it's, it's a, almost like a chant, you know, like a, like a chant that goes in here. And uh, hey, don't flip the channel. I'm not going all spacey on you guys. Just, just hang in there. You have two hands. And if you don't, we could still work with that. One hand is your line hand, and the other is your rod hand. My mantra involves a line hand, and it's pretty darn simple. I just say out, in, out. Just like that. To connect and integrate the lined hand motion of a double haul to my physical cast. Pull your line out, let it pull itself back in while still in your grip on the back cast, and then back out on the forward cast. This begins to form an imprint connecting more neurons in our fly brains. The timing of these moves, well, that is unique to your own particular cast and comes to you with what we all need, practice. We all need practice, people. It is part of the feel that comes over time spent. So there you go. That's the written word I have on the double haul. For those of you who are taking my classes, this is the last very, very last video you will want to watch. For those of you who have already know how to double haul, great. Give me some criticism here. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I can make it better and I'll make another video. For those of you who have never double hauled but want to learn it, hopefully this will help you along with Lefty Craze video. And we'll just cut away now, go to the, uh, the unique footage I have, and I'll just voice over on that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you stayed tuned in this long. Let's see what the double haul looks like from a different perspective. All right, guys, in this first segment, this is slowed 25%, but you can see the motion of my hand, the line hand, the hand holding the line goes out, in, out, in, out, in. And that last one was when I dropped the line. Here we go. Look at it this way. Out, in, out. See, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't haul enough on that. One. Out, in, out. And what I do when I'm hauling, because I've done it so much, is I will, I will vary the the actual amount of pull I put on it instead of trying to pull six feet for six feet of rod tip travel. That's Lefty's philosophy. That for the the amount of travel of the rod tip, that's the amount of line you pull on your haul, and it's hard to do. Now here, you're going to see, that from another perspective, watch, I try to keep my wrist from breaking now. That's a problem right there, is that uh, my wrist needs to be really, really tight. Keep the broad butt against your forearm, and you've got a really solid foundation there. Out, in, out. There you go. Another thing you can do, out, in, out. Another thing you can do Watch this video coming up, and you can drop it like that on the back side. Watch this. There we go. Listen to the line. You're not hearing a wish of the line. Listen to the line. That's only the sound of the line traveling through the guides. Very important to hear that, and not a wish of the rod. There we go. This drone perspective slowed 25%. And that's, I'm going pretty fast there. So that's slowed 25%. There you go. You can see that out in, out motion. And the fact that on a lefty cray cast, which is what I use, you can watch your line the entire time. You can't do that with any other style of casting. There it is in real time. All right, guys, we're getting down to brass tacks now. I really appreciate you watching this. What you're going to find out is you cannot double haul unless you base it on a really good original cast. Double haul is just a technique you add on top. So if you try to do this and you've got a bad cast, you're going you're to hurt yourself. You don't want to do it. It's the last thing you want to learn, basically, in my opinion, is the double haul. Get the complete cast, Lefty Cray and Ed Javorowski and uh, make sure that uh, you at least buy the double haul and start with that, then come to this, then come to me for lessons. There's a link down in the description where you can uh, actually go to if you're local to Dallas-Fort Worth, and we can get you set up to take some lessons.